Hi, and welcome to the Emulation for Retards video. This is Muffler241 reporting in, and I'm going to show you how to emulate the Nintendo 64. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your internet, in which case mine is Mozilla Firefox. And we're going to let that open real quick here. Alright, there we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a trustworthy emulator for the Nintendo 64, and seeing as all of them, I've tried most of them, I'm going to have to say Project 64 is got to be the best. So we're going to go to Emulator Zone, and it's right here in my history. Emulator Zone is a great site. It's got a whole bunch of crap to keep you on your emulating, uh, you know, keep you, keep you emulating. And there's a whole bunch of ROMs on here. Most of them are, uh, you know, most of them are homemade because, you know, they're not so much, they're still legal if they're homemade. We're going to get Project 64 and we're going to download it, which I've already done. So, just click Run, or whatever you want to do, and download it, and install it. And once you install it, seeing as I've already done that, you're going to want to get some ROMs because... You know, emulating a blank, you know, screen is just so good and only keeps you entertained for a certain amount of minutes. So, we're going to find some ROMs. Go to Google, type in Nintendo 64 ROMs, I'm talking ahead of where I'm going. ROMs, hit enter, and find a trustworthy site that you believe has ROMs. Emu Paradise is another awesome site. By the way, if you're looking for one, they seem to have sped up their servers, so it doesn't take forever to load anymore. But of course, it has a lot of pop-ups, so watch out for that. I'm gonna get a game that I've, you know, loved ever since I was used to play it, and that is. a ROM that is enlisted here because the screen is covered with an ad. So let us get past that. Okay. Much better. Star Fox. Here we go. WinRAR. I'm gonna just, you know, uh, wait. I'm just gonna assume that you have an unzipping software. If you don't, you could just go there and download it. And we're going to click open. I already have a ROM, so I'm just going to. That's how you get the ROMs. We're going to close that window and open up our computer window. And we're going to navigate to our uh, Project 64 directory which in this case if you installed it directly without looking I mean uh... default directory it would be project 64 in the program files we're gonna go in there and we're gonna create a new folder because we need somewhere to hold all our ROMs so go in there create a new folder called ROMs and in there we're gonna put all the ROMs that we just downloaded But we're going to want to set up uh, Project 64 first, so launch that real quick. Select your language, hit OK, yada yada yada. Here's our, uh, here's our ROM, by the way, if you download it, it's right here. Select them, drop them into the ROMs folder. Let it extract, because Lord knows it takes forever and go into your uh, project 64. We're going to want to set our ROM directory so that it will show all the ROMs here on this list right here. So we're going to go into here and we're going to go down here and select our ROMs folder. And see, lo and behold, our games popped up. We're also going to want to configure our plugins. Choose your graphics card or your adapter choose your windowed resolution. I'm going to keep mine at 800 by 600 or put it there. 
full screen resolution can be 800 by 600 or I'm just gonna put it on max 60 transfer memory if you don't want vsync if you have an LCD monitor these will lag your computer or lag it you don't need these unless you're unless you're seeing tearing on the screen we can just turn this on max since I have a good uh, system fine system if you don't have a very high system leave these off it doesn't really matter at all and uh... we're gonna go into our controller plugin because we gotta configure our uh, controls you're gonna want uh, on the analog sticks thing is that's the main thing we're gonna want to keep these a these are the uh... z and c i mean x and c the a and b z is z of course everything looks fine just remember those dead zone controller is plugged in memory pack and then you're fine next thing you're gonna want to do is launch the U version of the game and you'll be able to play see so you'll see you'll see all the uh, game you'll see the game being emulated just a short uh, glimpse into what you're going to be doing what a night for a night Notice the awesomeness, yeah. Actually, it's pretty good sound for a Nintendo 64 game. Yep, that's basically it for what you're going to be doing. Um, good luck, have fun, and uh, remember to thank me.